Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Fat Embolism Syndrome. Fat Embolism Syndrome is an acute respiratory disorder, caused by an inflammatory response to embolized fat globules that may enter the bloodstream, as a result of acute long bone fractures or intramedullary instrumentation. Patients present with hypoxia, changes in mental status, and pedicule rash. Diagnosis is made clinically with presence of hypoxemia, CNS depression, pedicleal rash, and pulmonary edema. Treatment is focused on prevention with early stabilization of long bone fractures. Mechanical ventilation with high levels of PEEP is the recommended treatment for acute presentation, for its epidemiology. 3-4% cases are with isolated long bone trauma, and 10-15% with polytrauma. For its causes and pathophysiology. Fat and marrow elements are embolized into the bloodstream during acute long bone fractures, intramedullary instrumentation like intramedullary nailing and hip or knee arthroplasty. Two theories regarding the causes of fat embolism include mechanical theory, where embolism is caused by droplets of bone marrow fat released into venous system, and biochemical theory, where lipoprotein lipase induces free fatty acid production with resultant hyperinflammatory response similar to ARDS. There is a GERD criteria to diagnose fat embolism syndrome. To diagnose this condition, it requires at least one major criteria and at least four minor criteria. Major criteria are hypoxemia, CNS depression, pedicleal rash, and pulmonary edema. Whereas minor criteria are tachycardia, pyrexia, retinal emboli, fat in urine or sputum, thrombocytopenia, and decreased HCT. Let's look at the presentation of fat embolism syndrome. Symptoms usually present within 24 hours of inciting event. Patient complains of feeling short of breath, and sometimes patient appears confused. On physical exam, there might be tachycardia, tachypnea, petechia, at axillary region, conjunctivi, or oral mucosa. ABG will show hypoxemia. This picture shows the petechia in the conjunctivi and skin. Treatment is non-operative, with mechanical ventilation with high levels of positive end expiratory pressure. Indication is in acute fat emboli syndrome. For prevention, early fracture stabilization should be done. Early fracture stabilization, within 24 hours of long bone fracture is most important factor in prevention of FEs. There are also some techniques to reduce the risk of fat emboli. Overreaming of the femoral canal during a TKA. Use of reamers with decreased shaft width reduces the risk during femoral reaming for intramedullary fixation. Use of external fixation for definitive fixation of long bone fractures in medically unstable patients decreases the risk as well. For prognosis, fat embolism syndrome is fatal in up to 15% of patients. That's all for this video. Thank you.